Um, okay, everyone. So, you know, I heard this morning, and I'm not sure when it had happened, that a woman committed suicide. Um, what was happening is that she, what was happening is that she was going to get married. I don't know if it's this Saturday or Saturday gone. Um, one and two, she called the older of the two daughters and told the older daughter to take care of the little one. And um, she was talking to the husband to tell him that he, she's not feeling well, or this the fiance. Let me say it that way to say she's not feeling well. And he had asked his neighbor to come and look at, look at her. When they came, she died. And the story is told that because she um, had a lot of financial difficulties. My heart is saddened, to be honest with you, um, because the situation of stress maybe could be mental disorder could be sickness whatever it may be and it seems as if people are not being helped we're living something is absolutely wrong and we have become so selfish as a people all of us in that we do not look at it as something that concerns us because it's not us oh she's not related to me so why do I care she's not a friend of mine so why do I care and more and more it is becoming closer and closer to home you know I find it very disheartening because you know I'm not understanding why it is that a, a number of persons I've been hearing of late are committing suicide and some of it apart from relational issues in terms of relationship problems has to do with financial difficulties no, I'm not one to get to, I don't like to talk about money issues like that because people may misunderstand or take it the wrong way as if you're on a begging drive or, you know, something like that. I know what it is to be in a difficult state financially and know what it is when you don't have anyone to assist. And if it wasn't for the grace of God, you would crumble. I probably would do like what the lady did. Well, mark you, me kind of, me tell people say me can't commit suicide because I'm afraid of pain. If mosquito bite me, me warm ball like a baby. Me couldn't slip my hands, hang myself, you know, the different ways of killing yourself. I heard you drank grandma soon. All them something. Me too afraid, me afraid of the side. What if you live and, you know, the whole vomiting or convulsing and all of those things that can happen to you. So I couldn't, you know, maybe it's a good thing I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? But I know what it is to be in a difficult situation and you have no one to ask and no one to call. It's not a matter say you want to go and beg and beg and beg and beg. And increasingly... You know, I remember this video that a white girl had posted about the begging issue. Everybody the begging this and begging that. I understand where she's coming from. It's really difficult sometimes to handle it. But the fact of the matter is persons are struggling financially. And sometimes you may think, oh, them don't want to work or they're not ambitious. Rubbish. I can tell you from experience that sometimes you you try to seek work. You try to, you know, like send out a lot of resumes. Like there was this one popular person now, you know. I mean, I'm sure that that person is in a good financial state. But... The person had said that he had to send out over 400 resumes before they eventually got a job. Yeah, persons who have been home for many years cannot get a job and it's not as if they're not avidly looking or it is not as if they, um, they're not qualified, ambitious, ready to work, fit, capable, able, they're not getting a job. Now, my, the point that I'm trying to drive is, or drive at, is this. If you're in the position to help, help. Financially, I'm talking about now. That's the aspect I'm dealing with now. If you're in the position to help financially, please, I am begging you. Don't look at because, oh, she's driving a car. She lives in a home. She has a husband, a wife, as the case may be. You know? Uh, whatever it is or the externals that you're looking at, you don't know what the internal is. You don't know what is going on inside. You don't know what their, I don't know what their storm or their difficult time is. I am asking you people, if you're in the position to help somebody, help them. Don't make any judgment call because you don't know somebody's situation. I remember somebody was telling me of a man who came into the bank and he looked like, what could I say now, a homeless man. Dirty and looking terrible. And the, um, he came to do a business transaction and the uh, agent dealt with him as though he was clean, looking good and everything. And um, he paid for an entire week. He paid for an entire week at um, some all-inclusive hotel for the entire week. You understand me? 
Now you have people who look decent and all of that. Now maybe the kind of job that he does, yes. But you have a lot of people who look decent and look good and look everything. And them, they couldn't do it. They don't have it. It's not that they wouldn't want it. They have, they have not the wherewithal to do all of that. You know? I'm begging you people, please. It may not hit you now, but you don't know what life will bring. It can be closer to home. It can be your wife. It can be your husband. It can be your son. It can be your daughter, your very good friend, your best friend. If you're in that financial position to help, please help. You know if you're able to help, you can help. All right? I'm imploring you. I'm encouraging you. If you're in that financial position to help, please help. You don't know what somebody's going through. And sometimes you know it in your heart because you get that kind of gut feeling. You get that kind of prompting to say, you know what? I know I can help this person. You know, let me help them. Sometimes you see the need. They don't have to even beg you. You know of their situation. Sometimes they're made redundant. Sometimes they lose their job because of you know some misunderstanding it may not even be anything criminal whatever the situation is a financial problem is really a difficult issue to deal with and when you don't have the help it is not easy if you don't have the grace of god to keep you believe you may you probably jump off of the cliff you know what i'm saying if you're in that position to help i know it is when you're like you're alone and you say god you have to help me through this one you have to, it's like you have to fight through i don't know if it's a sinking sun to get through and get some form of help if you're in that financial position to help people, I beg of you, I implore of you, help. Help, please. You don't want to go one day go home and hear say, as husbands, your wives should go do something to ourselves or even do something to our child. I just keep hearing this thing about suicide. It is not good. It is not healthy for our society. It is bad. It means something is wrong. They're not getting help. I'm not saying it's only a financial situation. In this case, I was told it's a financial situation. And I know many persons... You understand? That is why you have the begging thing going on like that. Sometimes these people don't want to beg. You know how difficult it is? It better them beg than them go thief. Because I have a problem with that. You understand what I'm saying? I have a problem with that. You think they want to? I'm sure if you really to us to sit down and talk to many of them, um, they will tell you, you think I want to come and beg? You know how hard it is to come and say, can you give me some money to pay this? It, I mean, people not going to readily give you that money. going to think, say, yeah, this or something wrong with you. You're mad. You're crazy. But the reality is people have it difficult and it's not on a matter that some in all cases. I know you have people who are not ambitious, don't want to. I know that. I'm not talking about talking about the ones who are. You know? Believe you me, tears are in my eyes when I hear of this. The constant suicide committing. You know? The lady drank grandma zone. I mean, that's one of the deadliest form of poison. She drank grandma. She just probably couldn't take it anymore. I mean, maybe there could have been some mental issue with that. I don't know. And I don't want to pass any judgment call on that. I'm just going by what I was told, which it was, is a financial situation. The reason why I'm riding on the financial issue, whether or not it is true in that case, is that a lot of persons I know are having it hard. And you cannot judge by the outward look. You can't judge, say, oh, because they have a home, because they have this, because they have, you don't know what their situation is. Sometimes they have 10 kids taking care of auntie, uncle kids as well. And they don't have anybody to say, please, can you just pay the health bill for me this month? I know some really want to beg you, but it is so hard. They can't take it anymore. I'm talking to you, but it's like it breaks my heart. It's not, it's, it's closer to home because I mean, you know, I'm, you, when you're constantly hearing it, hearing it all at the time, sometimes I don't even want to listen to the news. Not a matter that I'm, I don't business or anything with anybody. It's just, it's like my heart can't take it anymore. Just, just hear this constant, I don't even know what to say. And people are not getting the help that they need because we're too busy being selfish. It's so, it taught, it's tough to say that, but it is reality. People are too big. You're just business with yourself. Oh, Lord God, may I have my pity for you. May I have my son, my husband, my this, my that. You're just business with yourself, self, 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 self. Not even say, gosh. You know, so remember that um, Mary or Jim not, not working. I'm going to see if I can carry some groceries for them. Right, I have a $5,000, $10,000. I'm going to know that Jim could have done well with it. I know Mary could have done well with that 10 grand. If you're able to. I just call a figure. It may not be 10 grand, it may not be, you know, 5 grand. Your eight, whatever it is that they're able to. Or your friend may be trying to, you know, do some form of business. And you have the ability to assist. Assist people, please. You may say it's not affecting you now. Only for now. You don't know what life will bring further from now. I'm only encouraging you, please. I'm speaking on the financial aspect of it in this case. Because a lot of people are going through it rough. It is, it is terrible. And when you hear of a lot of persons, when you hear of a lot of persons, um, 
committing suicide and when you check it out a lot of it has to do with fitness it, people might say boy you know them eventually it's not easy when you have a lot of bills or you have um people to take care of you know like your children or if you're if you're married for example and maybe one spouse is not working like the husband or the wife is not working and you have to take on all the bills believe you me when you have a lot of bills to pay and you, you as you get it started going to bills it it let me tell you man you have to hold on strong and that's why people are stressed that's why we deal with things aggressive even on the road sometimes you're driving on the road and people want to lick you down them can't it's very stress building upon them it's affecting them in many ways they can't take it anymore a financial issue is a lot it's a it's 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 very it's very i don't even know what word to say it's terrible but the only thing i can do is really implore you people if you have the ability to assist and to help help if you have that ability to assist and uh, and help help i don't even know what to say anymore oh god my heart bleeding <sighs>